Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Float, which is a Pixar Spark short. It's a number one, one of those, uh, a number of um, shorts created by members of the Pixar team that, where anybody's allowed to pitch an idea, uh, whatever level they are, whether it's even if writing is not your thing, maybe you're an animator, or maybe you're a, a person who does music or whatever. There's somebody in any different levels. Uh, throws out an idea for a story and they uh, put it together, pitch it, and, and they make things. And uh, a lot of them get accepted. And you'll we looked at uh, one called Loop. There's one called Out. Uh, I think we've seen both of those so far. I'm not sure, but this one's Float. This is. Uh, I'm trying to drag this out as much as possible because I don't want to have ever have these videos about shorts to be l shorter than the, uh, longer than the actual short. So I'm dragging it out, but I also need to have it be a certain length. So anyway, Float is about this little guy right here. He is a little bit different. And his dad, who's raising him, is having a little trouble with that. He's, this kid's Float, uh, float is different in a, in a special way that uh, he, he's not sure how to handle. Does he hide himself and his son away from society uh, to not have people pointing fingers, making his son feel different, uh, feel I mean, in, in hurtful ways? Um, or does he celebrate it? Does he go out in public uh, and not care what people think? Uh, of course, this is, a, this is a, a metaphor, analogy for something else. Uh, for uh, dealing with kids who are special, who have, uh, who are different in different ways, and uh, this in this situation though, this kid can float. Yeah, he gets a little bit out of your reach, and he's just goes away. Uh, he has to keep him on a little leash. He needs to be protective of him at all times because you never know how he's going to react to things around him or how people are going to react to him. And uh, we see that pretty quickly. This is, by the way, this is from 2019. It's 11 minutes long. Uh, it's one of the longer shorts that I've seen come out of Pixar shorts, I think, uh, from Spark shorts. I'm pretty sure. But it uh, goes by really fast. It's beautifully animated. It is uh, does not have any dialogue except for one line. And that is, uh, I believe, spoken by the director who... Uh, help create this. I, it's dedicated to his son, who has taught him, who inspired this story. Uh, his name is, I think it's Bobby Alcid Rubio, is his name. And uh, yeah, so he's, this is very personal to him. Uh, I, I highly recommend all the Spark shorts. Obviously, it's Pixar, so if you're a Pixar fan, uh, yeah, dive into all of these things. See, yes, there's there's an attempt to show you <laughs> what it's like to have empathy for other people who aren't you and not in your same situation. Because uh, we're not living through the same stuff all the time, but we are not too different. So, uh, yeah, I'm philosophical now. Anyway, this is this is a it's funny, it's cute, it's sweet. And of course, it's Pixar, so you're going to get all that no matter what when you see one of these shorts. And uh, Float does not break that mold, and that's a good thing, I think. It's, there's nothing wrong with that when it comes to Float, when it comes to Pixar. Uh, so yeah, give it a shot, check it out, uh, and just or even just start, type in Spark Shorts or just Spark, and you're going to see all of them. Uh, or you can just type in Float, and you'll see other selections underneath it when you when you watch it, like. Uh, Let's look right now. Uh, no, that's the details. Yeah, okay. Suggested. Suggested? There we go. Wind, loop, out, burrow, pearl, smash and grab, kit bull, and bow. Yeah. So, I don't know if this was... No, I don't think it was in front of another film, but... Now I'm just wandering. So let's pick tomorrow's episode. 302. Almost doubled it there. 302. 302. Oh, 
Just almost had another short. There's an awful lot of shorts in this section. We're in the M's. Uh, this is a series, and I think it's probably a Disney Junior type thing. So we'll probably watch one, maybe two, but probably just one episode. Because uh, it's... I have a feeling it's not made for me, but we'll find out. This is called Mickey Mouse Fun House. Mickey Mouse Fun House is what we're watching next on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.